pyramid in. Best way I know to pyramid day trading and swing trading. That's it. Applies to all. Futures, options, stocks. One pyramid with a wider base. And example in six MES, add four MES, add two MES. Add one MES. You divide them by two each time. Are we clear? That's it. I'm telling you, this is the way to do this because you have the better cost basis at the bottom. Because you have the better cost basis and risk reward calculation space. Space at the bottom. Everybody clear on this one? Yes or no? Two. Never add more size in the middle and the top. This is this is worth the entire class again. So pay attention. Let's do a pyramid somewhere. If I could get some white space, that would be good too. I thought I had a paint and now I don't. Here, let's go here. This is how you're supposed to become a great trader. Six, four, two, one. That's the way to do it. This is super bad. One, four, right? So this is what? This is 10 and so there's 13 there, right? Four, you panic, this thing keeps on going up, you chase the move, you chase the move, right? And one, four, 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 whatever it is, I got three, right? This is the way to go. This is the way that will kill you because your average cost here stays towards the bottom or the middle. So let's say, this is 39.50 years. Now you are going to stay somewhere towards 39.58 for your biggest pyramid. Then you add the last three, and that's not going to add you anything. It's maybe 39.59. And the target is 39.75, like I showed you this morning. Is everybody seeing this? Now here, watch this. This is 39.50. Now you say, oh, wow, it's flying, 39.58. Now you chase 39.62, and you add at 39.68. Your total cost basis, let's say, let's say I'm just assuming, is in the area of 39.63. If it goes to 65 from 50, and suddenly tank back to 56, you are going to panic and get out and get stuck. Is there a, a, a moment? 